Welcome to Off Duty, I'm Wendy Mounds. Now, all week I've been telling you what a Hunger Games fan I am, but I bet you didn't know how far I was willing to go. Well, right now I am in Queens, outside of Proline Archery, where I'm about to channel my inner Katniss Everdeen. Yesterday I talked to the Olympian who trained actor Jennifer Lawrence in that role, and now we're gonna find out just how much I learned. We're here with Joe McLenn. He is co-owner here at Proline Archery. And you're also competing for a slot on the 2012 Olympic team, is that right? Yep. Uh, how's that going? It's going pretty well. Good. Potential hopeful. And a uh, couple of weeks, we'll be trying that again. Well, we will be looking out for you. In the meantime, The Hunger Games, the movie's coming out this weekend. Have you had a lot more people coming in, being interested in learning archery because of that? Yeah, yeah. There's been a great influx of kids coming into the shop, wanting to learn how to shoot archery, and it's been uh, good for business. Well, you're going to try and teach me. I'm not sure how well that's going to go. We're going to give it a shot. Let's talk about the equipment that you use. Walk us through the, the key yeah. pieces. A couple of key pieces. We have a finger tab and arm guard. Arm guard is going to be used to protect your forearm from the string as the string travels forward. And this also helps keep the clothing down in your arm. This is a finger tab. This is a device that goes on your hand and this protects your fingers from the developing calluses or blisters as the string comes off. Okay. And then the arrows. Yep. Do they hang off my belt like they do with Katniss? Yes. They do? Yeah. Excellent. So this is going to hang on your right side. Okay. Give and you a quiver full of arrows. And these are just a standard aluminum arrow that we use for rental. Great. And uh, could these actually hurt anybody? They could, yeah. They if they're could. not properly used, of course, yeah. It is it is a, a pointy item, so if you get poked with it, it's gonna hurt. All right, so let's get me suited up. All right, I'm all suited up, ready to go. Is this all I need? Yep, that's everything you need. Okay, well, while you help me work on my stance, we're gonna check in with Mr. Dan Neal. I don't know if he can shoot a bow and arrow, but that guy can sure drive a car. Let's see what he's doing now. Today we're driving the Subaru BRZ, the brand new sport coupe. $25,000 to start, 200 horsepower, two liter, four cylinder, six speed gearbox. It also comes with an automatic if you so choose. And most important, rear wheel drive. This car adds to a very short list of affordable, fun rear wheel drive sport coupes. Look, I'm gonna do something that uh, car reviewers rarely do, and that is I'm going to make sense. There is no point in getting a car that has 500 horsepower and foot wide tires and driving it on the street and expecting to feel anything because the car is so mechanically overqualified that you can't slide it, you can't break it loose, you can't really, you know, throw it around. Uh, and if you are throwing it around, you're going, you know, 110 miles an hour and you're gonna lose your license and imperil your family's welfare. Okay, you don't wanna do that. God knows, I love horsepower. But not every car needs 500 horsepower. In fact, I think it's brilliant that Subaru has just given this thing 200 horsepower. It's enough. The, only, the thing only weighs 2,700 pounds. It's fun, affordable, and not that quick. But the beauty of it, the genius of it, is that it feels kind of quick. One of these days I'm going to get good enough at this and I'm going to chase Dan Neal with a bow and arrow while he drives a car. But first I've got to learn to shoot. Now, do you need to be on the other side of me because I'm yeah. right-handed? let's get started. Okay. I'll be on the other side. All right. So in terms of how you hold and pull, what, what's sort of the first thing I need to know? First thing you need to know is that the, draw, the bow is drawn with three fingers, just like this finger tab is cut out. Okay. So you're going to hold the string with three fingers. Below this little, below, right between, yep. Two yep. below, one above. Okay. And now you're going to keep your arm straight. You're going to draw the bow straight back to the Stance. point. Stance. Stance is fine. Okay. Feet parallel. Yep. Body straight. You're going to draw the bow straight back and you keep your thumb down. You're almost a natural. That's great. Okay. Love him. Love him. Uh -huh. All right. Now, before we get going to see if I actually am a natural, we're going to head about a, as far away from the world of archery as you can think. We're going into the world of Betty and Don Draper of Mad Men. They are coming back this weekend. Are you having a viewing party? Well, if you do, you want to listen to Elva Ramirez right now. She has an amazing cocktail that's going to help you get through it.
I don't know, those Manhattan cocktails look pretty good, but you probably shouldn't drink while you <laughs> shoot a bow and arrow. No, absolutely That's not. That's my guess. All right, time for the moment of truth. I'm going to teach me how to, uh, do you say load the bow? Yep, Is that load correct? load the bow, correct. Uh, so, all right, so. So we're going to pull an arrow out of the quiver. Okay. We're going to pass the arrow through the window right here. Right. The arrow's going to go onto the arrow rest. Now there's green and white on here, on correct. the end. Are these fins, does it matter which way they turn? It does. The white vein needs to be on the, on the left side. Okay, and then I'm popping it right here? Yep, it's going to click on the bowstring. Okay, like good. Okay. It's gonna sit on the arrow rest. And then ready to go. And relax your hand. Don't grip it tight. Death grip. Yep. Okay. Okay. But how's my body stance? That looks good. Nice right. and straight. Draw it straight back. Come to a good anchor against your nose. Okay. Aim. All right, I'm out of arrows. We have to wait for everyone to be finished. And then, and yep. How do you let everyone get their arrows? Do you have a sort of signal? Yeah, when everybody's finished shooting, somebody will say clear. And when they say clear, it's safe to go forward to get their arrows. Now, is there a difference between shooting sort of in, in a competitive sport like the Olympics versus shooting in the woods like Katniss Everdeen would be doing in the Hunger Games? Uh, yeah, it's a different style of shooting. Right. So it's a target archery versus traditional archery. Okay. And uh, Olympic style archery is different than what she would be doing. Right. But it's a great base to get started with whatever you're gonna do. All right, well speaking of Olympic style archery versus in the woods style archery and just style in general, I think I'm pretty stylish in this. Absolutely. But you know what, we do have our own Christina Binkley and she's got this week's Fashion Confidential while I get my arrows, take a look. Design is, happens to be one of the careers that so many young people are talking about today. It's gotten a lot of attention because of attention on runway shows. So it's a big career choice for a lot of people. I think the first question has to be, you think you wanna be a designer, do you really wanna be a designer? If you think you want to be a designer, once you've decided that you've got the right, the talent to be a designer, you need to uh, generally get a lot of practice. Most people these days go to school. You can also go and find a great designer to be a mentor for you and work as, uh, work in, as an assistant designer and learn the ropes that way. You really can apprentice. But if you want to have your own label, then you need a team of people to support you. It could be a very small team at first. Designers tend to be very visual and often very tactile and they see the whole world and everything they're doing through those eyes. A person like that needs to have a partner of some sort who's exactly the opposite, taking care of the, the, the business end of things while you designed. The biggest failing of a lot of designers is they don't have anybody to help them on the business end, and then they can't ever get their, their line going because they get taken advantage of or they run out of money. So we're clear, so we can go get the arrows. Yeah, we can okay. clear. Yep. How'd I do? That's not so bad. This is great for yeah. a first timer. Got we, three in the yellow. So I was shooting over here, yep. but then you adjusted we're, the sight. Yeah, we made a slight adjustment, put you from the black to the yellow, and by the end of the day, we're going to put you right here. Right in the middle. That's right where you should go. So just pull these straight out. Yep. Now it's actually pretty tiring doing this. I mean, so why is that? I mean, how the bow you said is a 15 pound it, bow. What does that mean? 15 pounds is the amount of force it takes to draw the bow back and hold it, and then while you're holding it. 
you know, that's what makes the muscles get tired. So when I'm basically holding it back, I'm holding basically like a 15 pound dumbbell almost at this Correct. point. Yep. Got you. Um, I'm a little hot. What about you? You want some ice cream? Sure, no. absolutely. I just had to have a segue <laughs> of some sort. You know why? Because we have ice cream makers right now. We tested them out. Take a look. We're going to be back in a minute. Joe, how many arrows are you shooting a day in prepping for the Olympics? Uh, in prepping for the Olympics, I'll shoot over 100, between 100 to 200. And what pound bow are you using? Uh, my bow is about 44 pounds. So that's pretty close to what uh, Katuna Lorig, who is the uh, the coach who taught Jennifer Lawrence, she stars as Katniss Everdeen yep. um, in the movie The Hunger Games. That's about what she's using, I think. Uh, yeah, she's around that weight, yep. And so you two ostensibly could be on the same team. Yeah, that'd be cool. But you haven't read The Hunger Games yet, have you? Not yet. Admit it right here. No, I haven't read it. I'm waiting for the movie. <laughs> All right, well, that's this weekend. Yep. Are you going to plan to go? I'm going to try. All right, well, I'm going to get a few more shots in. That is it for today's WSJ Off of Duty. Thanks so much to Joe for being here with us. Okay. We'll see you back here tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to try and get off a few more shots. You know, last one's going to be the charm. All right, here we go. Good anchor. Aim.